James is not looking at me anymore. <laughs> Next day. Dear diary, <laughs> I haven't gone out today. Next day. <laughs> Dear diary, today I stayed in bed all day. Stop! Ten years ago, Gaspar Shellbread was terrified of speaking in front of a crowd. When he came to study history in Paris, he joined the Improfessionals, the International Improvisation Troupe of Paris. Today, his main job is the art of body language. Once a week, the 30-year-old Dane meets up with the other Improfessionals to talk about coming shows. It's generally consensus, but as you saw, it takes a little bit of discussion to get somewhere. It's time for rehearsal, Casper's favorite moment. Several times a week, he goes back to the basement studios where he discovered improvisation. And I came and I was like, oh, what? And it was only beginners still, and I was like, oh, how can you do that? I used to think of it as a uh, kind of psychological laboratory for myself. I could try to be everything and everyone that I'm not normally. Um, a way of unleashing his creativity, not only, improvisation has become so important in Casper's daily life that he even came up with a theory. Impro Supreme, <laughs> that's uh, um, it's a concept, an idea of how to train, practice improvisational theatre so that it becomes what I call supreme improvised theatre. This Wednesday on the Barge Antipod, Casper is going to implement his theory for the performance called Coffee Show. Even if the name Impro Supreme comes from one of Casper's favorite songs, A Love Supreme, it is anything but eccentric. A supreme improviser has to be visual, oral, intelligent and inspired to be extraordinary. On the board the troupe is playing tonight, some prefer to chat, to warm up before the audience shows up. For Casper, a good improvisation can't be fully improvised. It requires a 20 minutes body training. I use um, core mechanics. That's, that's a series of 10 movements that will to go through all body parts and different articulations of the body so that remember you've got 10 fingers, two arms, uh, two legs, and you can bend here, you can bend your legs and all that. So just quick scan through the whole body. I think he's really heads-on in a scene, so he knows what is needed when it's the right time. Uh, sometimes I think his attitude of, it's okay, it doesn't matter, let it be, is also really fresh, because it takes away a bit of a pressure and a responsibility. Casper, known as the physical challenger, will be on stage again late January. After that, he's going to travel to Australia to teach improvisation and spread his Impro Supreme theory. Thank you very much.